Hey guys, if you're shopping for knives and gear, make sure you check out the description of the video you're watching right now for a link to my Amazon store, where I've compiled some of the very best items available, including some of my own personal recommendations. Thanks! What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here, and today I've got another short little unboxing to share with you guys. Uh, this is a knife that was sent by the Pass Around Group, I can tell by the uh, information on the front of the package. We're going to be using my Spyderco Para 3 Maxima today uh, to unbox this package. It is absolutely a knife that you can find down in the store that I referenced at the beginning of the video. Um, while we wait uh, until we figure out exactly what we're going to do for the new unboxing knife for the channel. Anyways, let's go ahead and get in here. What do we have? I have no idea. Sign up for stuff through the password group all the time, but always forget what on earth... Okay, um, this is a brand that I have never seen before. So let's, it says learn more at ruger.com slash CRKT. Okay, so there's kind of a hint, I guess. Okay, now wait, wait a second, wait a second. This, lo this looks very familiar. Okay, this is starting to come back to me now. This looks a lot like the, um, it looks a lot like, actually, the blade grind kind of looks like the uh, Nick Chuprin and Carter, well, let's see. Yeah, Carter design. I was going to say, I just reviewed a custom. Okay, interesting. So I remember a while back seeing this very smooth, very smooth. Hold on, here, ready? Yeah, reverse flick. I'm a big fan of that notch up there and this sort of compound, sort of hollow slash flat grind that they've got going up front. It's also a nice looking, nice sort of stubby looking knife. Uh, makes me think, uh, wait a second, is this? I cannot, it, it looks like a combination of so many different makers here and I don't want to slip and reference a maker that's not actually involved with it. But in any case, yeah, we're looking at a, um, it says manufactured by CRKT under license from Sturm, Ruger and Co Incorporated. So there you go. But what is the name of the knife? <laughs> uh, oh, here we go. Okay. It's the incendiary, uh, R2000K incendiary. If I can find this, um, I will link it right down at the top of the description so you guys can pick it up. But right off the bat, I can tell you guys, it's likely a steel frame lock. Um, but, Nice solid lockup. The thumb disc, you know, that's not that's not my most preferred means of deployment, but it's in the right place. It actually feels great. I mean, it feels really good on deployment. What are we running on here? Looks like some nylon, which is pretty typical of CRKT. Um, don't know the price in this guy. You guys can, you know, if there's a link down there, then you guys can check it for yourself. I like the pocket clip. Um, the blade looks to be centered. Nice backspacer. Looks to be constructed really well. This is an interesting knife. I'm not sure what I think of these keyholes right here, but yeah, this is pretty cool. I love that blade shape. Really, really cool blade shape. And I'd venture to guess it's pretty sturdy. Absolutely. Not sure what it's made out of. Oh, there was the model number right there. But in any case, this will be a fun one to look at, guys. Um, I think that's going to be pretty much it. I don't know that I really have a whole lot more to say. <laughs> Um, if you enjoyed this short little unboxing, please leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on this Metal Complex logo right here and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.